Hello everyone. In our previous modules, we have learned about the physical and chemical properties of metals and non-metals. It has been an interesting journey so far. Don't you think so? In the last module, we have seen that metals form metal salts and hydrogen gas when they react with acids. Can you tell what will happen if I put a metal in the salt solution of another metal? Will there be a change? Will it react? Which type of reaction will it be? Let's find out together. So, let us check out how do metals and non-metals behave with salt solutions. You have learned about the displacement reactions in the previous chapters. Let's quickly recall what are displacement reactions. The reactions in which one element takes the place of another element in a compound are called displacement reactions. When a more reactive metal is put in the salt solution of a less reactive metal, then the more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal from its salt solution. Let us now learn about few examples to understand this property better. To begin with, we shall learn about the reaction of zinc metal with copper sulphate solution. When we dip a zinc strip in copper sulphate solution, the color of copper sulphate disappears gradually due to the formation of zinc sulphate and the red-brown copper metal is deposited on the zinc strip. In this reaction, zinc displaces copper being a more reactive metal. However, if we place a strip of copper metal in zinc sulphate solution, can you guess what would happen? It's no change because the reaction does not occur. This is because copper being less reactive than zinc is unable to displace or replace zinc from its solution. Similarly, if silver metal is put in the copper sulphate solution, we do not observe any reaction. Silver being a less reactive metal than copper cannot replace copper from its solution. We must recall here that iron and magnesium are more reactive than copper. Hence, they replace copper from its salt solution. So, let us observe the reaction between iron metal or an iron nail and copper sulphate solution. When an iron nail is placed in the copper sulphate solution, the blue color of the copper sulphate disappears as iron replaces copper from the copper sulphate solution. The copper metal formed in this reaction forms a red-brown layer on the iron nail. However, if the copper metal strip is placed in the ferrous sulphate solution, the reaction does not occur as copper is unable to displace iron from its salt solution. The reaction of copper metal with silver nitrate solution is also worth learning about. When a strip of copper metal is kept immersed in the silver nitrate solution, 
for some time the color of the solution slowly turns blue and a shining grayish white layer of silver gets deposited on the strip of copper metal. Here copper replaces silver from the solution of silver nitrate. But the reverse reaction of silver replacing copper from its salt solution is not possible as silver is less reactive than copper. Now let us see how non-metals behave with salt solutions. Here the more reactive non-metal replaces the lesser reactive non-metal from its salt solution. To observe this property, we shall try and find out what happens when we pass chlorine gas through the solution of sodium bromide. This results in the formation of sodium chloride and bromine gases evolved. Here the more reactive chlorine displaces lesser reactive bromine in the solution of sodium bromide. The order of reactivities of metals arranged in the decreasing order is called the reactivity series of metals. Let us now quickly recapitulate what we have learned in this module. Displacement reactions are those reactions in which a more reactive metal replaces a less reactive metal from its salt solution. Zinc displaces copper being more reactive than copper. Copper being less reactive than zinc is unable to replace zinc from its solution. Silver being less reactive than copper cannot replace copper from its solutions. Iron and magnesium are more reactive than copper. Iron replaces copper from the copper sulphate solution. Copper is unable to displace iron from its salt solution. Copper replaces silver from the solution of silver nitrate. Silver does not replace copper from its salt solution as silver is less reactive than copper. The order of reactivities of metals arranged in the decreasing order is called the reactivity series of metals.